Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We are in this Jamaat. We are following in the footsteps of Sahib al Saif. So the question now that we need to ask: What was our Sheikh doing in this situation? What was our Sheikh doing? Was he concerned with what others thought about him? No. He was only concerned about what Allah and His Prophet think about him. If you're following in his footsteps, you're not going to be concerned. You're going to be concerned, maybe, about what those who are following Allah and His Prophet, what they are going to think about you. Their opinion now will matter. Not everyone's opinion is going to matter now, that time. You cannot be busy with so many people. You cannot be busy with the majority of the people these days. Be busy with what Allah and His Prophet think of you. And how are you going to know what Allah and His Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, they're going to think of you? You look to their representatives and you are going to be busy with that one. What is he thinking of me? If you are busy with that, you'll know what to do. If you're busy thinking, what does Oja think of me? Then you're going to try to fix it. You don't have to let me to tell you anything. You're going to run to fix it. It's not me. The Oja can be someone else. I can be removed from here. You can sit here. But the one that the Shaykh has put who is representing him, you should be busy with that. If you're busy with that, you're going to walk straight. And you're going to watch. Not just what he's going to say openly. You're going to watch. You're going to understand. You're going to read the signs. You're going to grow up a little. So yes, to be concerned about this, what Allah and His Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, they think of you. This is the first step to a wisdom, preparing yourself for death, preparing yourself for ahirat. It's a very good question. Don't be concerned about what others think of you. Say, what does Allah think of me today? Is Allah happy with me? With the work that I've done, with the things that I'm doing, with the ideas that I have, with the intentions, with the is Allah pleased with me today? And answer yourself sincerely. Difficult to say, what is Prophet thinking? It's difficult to say, what is Sheikh anywhere here? What is he going to think about me today? And you're going to be very concerned with that. And it's very easy now for you to even answer that. What is Sheikh and It's not so easy to say, what is Hoja thinking of me today? As it was during Sheikh and his time. So you go say, we don't care for him. They are sitting there, eating from his plate, sitting next to him, under his roof. But they're saying, no, I'm busy with Shaykh Maulana. I'm not busy with whom he has sent. And he has authorized. So there are still people doing that. They're busy with Sheikh and him, but they're not busy with us. It's okay. It's the less work for us. But it's not going to be so good for you. Because those things we've seen it happen over and over again. <coughs> so be busy with the knowledge that concerns you. And this is for me and this is for you. Fatiha. Amen. Say, drink your tea.
Despite trying my utmost best to strive to be on <coughs> the will save Qadas Allah Siri, how do I know whether or not my Murshid is pleased or displeased with me? And if I am on the right track or not, as I am rather lost at times, which leads me to a dead end of other confusion. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. 